Stop what you're doing. You know what time it is. It's time to sit back and enjoy Warriors Communications. Produced at Pocomoke High School. By kids from a small town. A small town, just like me. Have you ever seen this show punk on MTV? And ever wanted to punk someone you know? Yeah. All right, look, the whole point is to get her to come to the parking lot, right? All right. All right. So then when she goes to the parking lot, we're going to have either Mr. Collinson or Mr. Mills out here. Alright, sounds good. Alright. I have to have a parking deck. Alright, they're going to tell us to park. Okay. 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 Whitney, you've just been pumped. And I am Brian Kane reporting for Words Communication. I'm Brooke from W6. And I'm Beth. And we have heard on the Hustle PHS that students need help finding a prom date. No fear, Brooke and Beth are here to give you some tips to help. Tip 1. Plan months in advance and start thinking about who you would like to go with and start thinking about what dress you would like to get. Tip 2. Hanging out with a group of friends may help you find the date you're looking for. For you guys, ask the girl that you're attracted to, or just maybe a really good friend. Bro, be my prom day. <laughs> if you're still having trouble, maybe taking someone from a lower grade would work. Hey, I know you're in a younger grade than me at all, but would you like to go to prom? Yeah. I also ask someone from another school. Well, I hope these tips helped you, could have helped me. Look what I got out of. We hope these tips help you to have a successful prom. And I'm Beverly. And I'm Brooke. Reporting for WC. What is Daylight Savings and when did it start? Daylight Savings is a way of gaining more summer days by advancing the clocks by one hour in the spring. Benjamin Franklin first suggested daylight savings in 1784, but it wasn't used until the First World War in 1916. They used it to save fuel by reducing the need to use artificial lighting. So next time you think about sleeping in, just remember you have a longer day thanks to daylight savings. This is Jared Jones reporting for Warriors Communications. This season, the Bulls were on fire. They ended with a record of 20 and 6. The Chiliers had a late start, but ended successfully. Not only were the boys on fire, the girls were too. They ended up at a record of 25 and 4. Spring sports are being that come and check out the tennis, baseball, and softball team. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, y'all. 
Check it out, y'all. I'm Monique Parker reporting for Rose Communications. Have you ever thought about the slogan on bumper stickers, support our troops, but weren't sure how? Words Communication has a few ways that you can get involved. www.amillionthanks.org is one place to go, so check it out. A Million Thanks is a year-round campaign to show our U.S. military men and women, past and present, our appreciation for their sacrifices, dedication, and services to our country through our letters, emails, cards, prayers, and thoughts. Send your letters to a million thanks at a million thanks care of Lutheran High School, 2222 North Santiago Boulevard, Orange, California, 92867. And they will deliver them to military personnel, past and present, in the U.S. and abroad. Another website you can go to is AnySoldier.com AnySoldier.com provides soldier contacts and lists what they need and want. They even have a search capability so you can easily identify what units need. Soldiers are volunteers for this effort. They see attention any soldier under their name on the mail you send to them. And they put your letters packages into the hands of soldiers who don't get much or any mail. AnySoldier.com also has what to send and how to send pages to help you properly send packages and much more. You send your support and maybe some stuff directly to whatever unit you want. Here are some other websites to go to to show or give support to our troops. OperationGive.org AmericaSupportsYou.mil or www.usocares.org Showing support to our troops is very important. It gives them a feeling that they are fighting for a cause and they need the support of their country. This is Kyle Lewis reporting for Warriors Communications. You know what you're wearing to prom, but do you know what your date's wearing? Matching flowers and tuxedos with dresses is the hardest when some people don't know what to do. Hi, welcome to Shears. I'm Amy. How can I help you today? Well, I'm trying to match my dress with my date's tuxedo. Okay, well we got a wide selection over here, so let's take a look at the book. Try this one. Mm, that's too light. We'll try something else. Okay. No. And, um, it's wedding W-I-N-N-I. Too dark. Okay. Ooh, try that one. Okay. Do you like that? Yes. According to www.afterhoursprom.com, matching your tuxedo and dress is totally up to you, although it looks better to match the tie and the vest with your date's dress. So whether you go by the tradition or not, I am sure you and your date will look fabulous. And I'm Amy Davis reporting for Warriors Communications. Give you a check, but nope, not a referee, nope, like why clef, I'm a refugee, Broly, where cocky, don't play hockey. Although high school basketball is exciting, you'll find professional basketball fans here at PHS and more excited about the NBA playoffs. According to www.nba.com, the following teams that have the best chance of making it to the playoffs are... What's your favorite NBA basketball team? My favorite NBA basketball team is Miami Heat. Well, they're not in the NBA, but they're the Globetrotters because they do tricks and stuff. The Lakers. Why? Uh, I think they're a well-rounded team. My favorite basketball team is the Philadelphia 76ers. Why? Because they have Chris Webber and he's my favorite player. You know, my favorite NBA basketball team is Los Angeles Lakers, Kobe Bryant. Why? Because, I mean, he's the leading scorer on the team. I mean, they're going to take this year. My favorite NBA basketball team is the Washington Wizards. Why? Why? Because they're good, dude. And they're the home team. Got to stay with the team. The Miami Heat. Why? Because of shit. I'm LeBron Dennis reporting for Warriors Communication. They see me rolling. They hating. Patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. Are you tired of your beat up ride? Do you want your car to be the showstopper without spending a lot of money? Or here are 10 easy and cheap ways to pimp your ride. Give it that hot paint job look with vinyl. Make your car glow with neons. 
Get exhaust pipes to make your car roar. Get your lights to light up the night with style. Keep your seats looking fresh with car seat covers. Give your car style with window tint. Wash and wax your car to give it that shiny new look. Put some cheap spinner caps on so you can ride spinners. Give it that hot polish look with chrome. And you can find cheaper items on eBay. With these 10 easy tips, your ordinary ride could be the hottest ride on the street. is quickly approaching. Here are some prom do's and don'ts to help you have a good time. Don't forget to ask your date what kind of corsage would you prefer. Make sure the corsage you're getting matches your dress. Use words like please and thank you. You should pay attention to your date. Don't leave your date to be with your friends the whole night. You both have a lot of time invested in this night. Make it special. Ladies, be sure to pick the perfect hairstyle for prom. I want you around all the time. I want you around all the time. Please, baby, be mine. Don't spray hairspray anywhere other than the bathroom. Don't forget your cash. Take dance lessons if you can't dance. Don't be late. Don't break up with your boyfriend on prom night or prom week. You know, we have to talk. I know it's prom week, but I want it to be over. Yes, away. Yes, away. Yes, away. Yes, away. Um, if he was acting up or not acting the way I wanted him to, yes, I would. Yeah, if there was somebody that looked better than him. Yeah, if he was acting stupid. If it got boring, I would definitely leave my date at prom. Yes, I will if I find somebody else cuter. All of these tips and prom will be a blast. This is Lorinda Weller reporting for Warriors Communication. Worcester County has three candidates for Teacher of the Year. The candidates are Miss Nancy Eaton from Pocomoke High School, Ms. Linda Hitton from Pocomoke Middle, and Miss Donna Huff from Pocomoke Elementary. The Teacher of the Year banquet was held at Ocean City on March 31st, 2006. Here is some footage from the big event. The Teacher of the Year is Michelle Hammond from Stephen Decatur Middle School. Congratulations to all the fine teachers of Worcester County. And I'm Tara Beecham, reporting for Warriors Communications. Wow.
according to www.womensissues.about.com within the time it takes for a classroom period in school another 120 teens become pregnant hey, Mike, I gotta tell you something. I'm pregnant of the 120 girls 105 of the boys walk out on the relationship and pregnancy you pregnant yeah, it's no, yours. No, it's not mine. Yes, it is. I don't know who you can know. 35% of the 120 girls choose abortion. You know that I'm pregnant, right? Yeah, so what are you going to do? Um, I don't know. What do you think I should Get do? an abortion! This doesn't have to be you. There are methods you can use to prevent teen pregnancy. Number one, use a latex condom. When used correctly, latex condoms are 97% effective in preventing pregnancy. Number two, use a form of birth control. Local clinics and doctor's offices provide many birth control options. Number three, just say no. Abstinence is the only 100% effective way of preventing pregnancy. Stop teen pregnancy before it occurs. This is Erica Vogt reporting for Warriors Communications. Shoes are a major fashion statement. What kind of shoes do you like to wear? Some cool shoes to wear for the summer are. She's like no one I ever seen, no one I ever met, someone I'll never forget. Looking at it is good for DJ Pizza. Rhyming not backyard game plan. Watch a snoop anxious thing you're waiting for my chance, man. Cotton cocky with it, cause I know that I So save up your money for some new kicks. And I am Jarvis Harmon, reporter from Words Communications. Do you know what your teachers used to look like? Is that teachers missing you? Okay, I think teacher's Mr. Fassett. Kiss me like you mean it. Treat me like I'm sad. I think that teacher was Miss Ronnie. I think it's Miss Brundle. I think it's Miss Brundle. This is Miss Pugh. Oh, is it um Colonel Siegel? <laughs> that guy is Mr. Springle. <laughs> And I'm Brooke Massey, reporting for Warriors Communications. Driving is a privilege and a responsibility. A driver must obey the traffic laws and must be prepared to react to other drivers in driving conditions. Here are some important driving tips. Always wear your seatbelt and make sure all passengers buckle up too. Obey the speed limits. Going too fast gives you less time to stop or react. Don't run red lights. Use turn signals to indicate your intention to turn or to change lanes. Make sure your car has gas in it. Don't drink and drive. Don't take drugs or drive if you've taken any. Don't blast the radio. You might miss hearing a siren or a horn that could warn you of possible trouble. Don't talk on the car phone, put on makeup, comb your hair, or eat while driving. Maintain your car. Bald tires, a slipping transmission, or a hesitant engine could lead to accidents. And I'm Marie Whitehead reporting for Warriors Communications. What's your talent? Hi, oh. I can do handstands for like ever. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> You know 
was hard coming up from the life that I lived. When I wanted love in my life, nobody would give. So I had to take what I wanted, but I took it for granted. I asked for it, I couldn't get it, so I had to demand it. My mom wasn't ever around for three years of my life. Grandma had to provide for me, wasn't really a mother type, so nobody ever talked to me about sex and drugs. That's why I'm not a gentleman. I turned out to be a thug. But I was too young to get in the club, but I still came through the front door. When chicks see my squad, they'd be like, who the young boy? And I'd be like, that's me. Plus I'm rolling with Trick Squad, so I don't gotta show ID. You know I be chilling in the VIP with chicks by me. Asking what this Trick Squad mean. I hit the block harder than the wrecking ball in the crane. It's a lot of envy now, cause B came in the game. Got chicks walking around here yeah, screaming my name. Not to mention dudes walking around screaming he's lame. I'm trying to stack dough, hide in the Cisco wall. Lift up my sleeve, it's like I got a disco ball. And I'll be J to the K, B. Hold it down for JC. Can't replace me, that's just crazy. Saying you can't face me, call me a Marine. I'm bulletproof cause I'm MVP on God's team. Yo, Kia, why this girl call my house? What she say? When she see me, she gonna dog me out. Who this chick? I don't know who she was. She ain't nothing to me but an over the phone thug. What you gonna do? Well, I'ma handle my biz. Go up to her, no talking. I'ma show her what it is. I'm tired of chicks that always got something to say, but when they see me in the streets, they go out there with to speak hey, to Mar. me as if we was friends. Smiling in my face, but trying to get with my man. But I'm a real type that I let you know. I don't like your style, so throw your hands up. Let's go. I bet you didn't know it was this much selling here at Pokemon High School. And I'm asking you all, reporting for Warriors Communication. With the NCAA tournament wrapping up, we asked students what team do they think will make a run for national championship? North Carolina. I think that Duke University is going to go to the 2006 tournament. Duke's going to win because they've been my favorite team since five, and every time I've checked, they've been up on the ND, NCAA. UCLA can win this college tournament. I think that Duke is going to win. But one, they always win. But two, I like Duke. Alright, the tournament, I think Boston College got a good chance because they got some nice stars and can handle the rock. Word, and I'm going with UNC all the way, baby. And they're taking it all. Make sure you tune into the tournament for the results. Anything is possible in college basketball. This is Kendall Northern reporting for Warriors Communications. Do you ever feel pressured to do something you don't want to do? Well, Warriors Communications has found five ways to deal with peer pressure. One, believe in yourself. Two, decide what it is that you don't want to do. Three, think of reasons for stopping that you can tell your friends. Four, tell one of your closer friends. You never know, they may feel the same as you. Five, talk about how you feel with someone you trust. So, next time this happens to you, just think of these five ways to deal with peer pressure. And I am Ashley Blake, reporting for Warriors Communications. You don't have to be 21 or over to enjoy yourself. There are two under 21 clubs in the area, Club 21 in Salisbury and H2O in Ocean City. Both clubs are alcohol free and range anywhere from $5 to $20 to get in. We asked PHS students which club they preferred. Yeah, so I've been H2O one, two, I got my fun. H2O two better for me. It has a lot more room, you know. I just like dancing, so I make myself have fun by still dancing. H2O because you got more people. I've been to Club 21 three times H2O. One I like time. H2O because I guess it was a grand opening and I got to dance in the cage and got my boogie on. Holla! <laughs> I like Club H2O because it's simple fact that it's just more people there. Uh, yeah, I've been to H2O 1 and H2O 2. Um, I like H2O 2 better because they had the big screen with all the movies on and everything. I like H2O because it's much bigger. You know, more people, it's a lot more room to dance. I ain't got that H2O! What? That's my pain away. I got my mom. Whoa, 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 Come join the nightlife and I'm Kyra Milburn reporting for Warriors Communications. Diamonds on my neck, dim diamonds on my neck, Woo! diamonds on my neck, dim diamonds on my neck, talking pounds of green. Talking... This is what celebrities are wearing this summer. Warriors Communications wants to know what you're wearing. wearing 
the latest fashion such as tank tops, capris, um, shorts, skirts, and the assorted colors like turquoise, blonde, and gold. Yes, I have a lot of summer favorites. Um, I like to wear capris. I like to wear denim, different denim skirts, denim capris. Um, I like to wear tank tops when I'm out of school such as halter tops or tube tops. But while I'm in school, I like to wear um, Air yeah, Forces, kind of white tees, and basketball shorts. I wear jerseys and shorts and everything. Everything cool. No, I don't go by fashion in a magazine. I come up with my own fashion. You know, I just I just do what feels right to me. I, I go where I was hot. We done created another epidemic for the street, nigga. Just when y'all thought it was safe to poke your head out again. Let's go! I know you thought we were finished. Yeah. Yeah. Street sweet remix part three. So no matter what, Warriors Communications is here to help you stay cool for a summer. This is Katie Herbs reporting for Warriors Communications. Pokemon High School, and I'm actually a reporter for Voice Communication. Hi, welcome to Shears. How can I help you today? I'm trying to draw match my dress. <laughs> <laughs> trying to what? Right. Okay. 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 Hi, welcome to Shears. I'm Amy. How can I help you today? <laughs> <laughs> 